Can I see some of these PlayStation games over here, man? To the Dreamcast games too. Oh, yeah. those two? Yeah. I'm That's alright. For blue 699, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. Good. I got a bunch of stuff in. Yeah, you can lock it up. I put everything back the best I could. This is Houston, Texas, the fourth largest city in the United States. There's an epic game out there somewhere just waiting to be found. This is my hunting ground. Welcome to the concrete jungle. Yes, my friends, right there in front of me, within my grasp, the holy grail of all PS2 titles. Unfortunately, the story is not that simple. Did the old man that was standing there 
or as I like to refer to him as the gardener, already take rule of rose for his own, along with the pair of shoes that was beneath it. The next video sequence that you will see is the actual real-time footage of me entering the Goodwill and walking up and spotting this rose. A lot of the thi a lot of things run through my mind. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna say? How am I gonna get my hands on this voluptuous flower? We all have been in this situation before, seeing something so special, then right in front of us, losing it forever. What would you have done in my situation? Are you getting these shoes? Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. I'm a collector. I've been looking for this game for quite some time. Can I offer you money for it? I'd be willing to pay you, I don't know, how much is it selling it for? $2.99. 20 bucks? Lord tells me, uh, give it, it should be given unto you. I'm going to let you have it, no charge. What? Oh, man. God Thank you, man. God bless you, man. Wow, that's great. Hey, I have no problem paying for that, though. That stuff. Like sure? a few bucks, yeah? How much, how much is it? Oh, those are $9.
those are going in. All right, let me pay for those two things. Okay. All right, perfect. Make, make sure it's not scratched or anything. No, nah, it looks pretty good. Many games. It's an uncommon game. Oh, that's yeah, it's an uncommon one. I've been looking for it for quite some time. Mm -hmm. You just came at the right time. Man, perfect time. All right, so I was talking to my daughter last night, and uh, apparently she, she's been having kind of a tough week at school this week, so I uh, decided to pick her up a dozen roses. So I'm going to surprise her with this when I get home. Just look at you. You're filthy. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the recap portion of the video. Uh, I'm going to run through this real quick. We don't have a lot to get to, um, so we can get to the final chapter in this story. I uh, picked up a few Dreamcast games earlier on in the week. Sega GT, got that for $2.99. Flawless copy. Uh, it's in light new condition, so you can't beat that for $2.99. And then I also picked up, I don't see a lot of Dreamcast games out there, so I try to grab them when I can when they're at a good price. Probably could have left this one, but decided to pick it up. Spec Ops 2 Omega Squad. Another Dreamcast title, and I also got that for $2.99. This one is also like new. Absolutely flawless again. Then, so, yeah, two Dreamcast games. Then I went to a Half Price Books earlier in the week, and then I found a game that's a little bit uncommon. Fire Emblem on the GBA Got that for $9.99. I will be flipping that. I'm not collecting GBA games anymore. I can get probably about $27 loose for that. So, yep. Uh, the next two titles I'm also going to be flipping. Never heard of this one. It's complete. It's called Drill Dozer. This goes for about $25 online. Picked that up for $9.99. So, again, I'll be selling that. It is complete. So, yeah. And then the next one that I don't think is super common itself is Castlevania Double Pack. It has a Harmony of Dissonance and Aria of Sorrow. And it's in very nice shape. I already took the manual out. It's got a, a dual manual. As you can see, which is pretty nice. And then there was an extra in there. There's actual, there's the game right there. The double pack game. I don't know why that's not visualizing. There it is. And then the extra that was thrown in there, I'll have to clean that marker off of there, but Castlevania Circle of the Moon. So I'll throw that in into the deal when I sell it online, and I'll probably get at least 50 bucks for that, so I'll double my money on that one. Uh, next thing, a really cool pickup, guys. 
a light gun that I've never seen before. Check this bad boy out. Uh, this is the Cobra light gun. You can see it has a start button there. It's got uh, speed. I guess you can speed up the your reload time. It's got normal settings. It's got, uh, let me see, auto reload and auto fire, I guess. Uh, these right here light up when you shoot the gun. It's kind of like that Terminator gun. Uh, and as you can see, I got that for $7.99, so I got a really nice price on it. Uh, it's got a rumble pack feature inside of here, I believe. Uh, I want to say there's three or four different variations of this gun. Um, this one right here, some of them just play PlayStation 1 and 2. This one right here, actually the really cool thing, and the reason why I picked this one up, so you can see it plays PlayStation 2, you can play it on the PlayStation 2 or 1, but also you can plug this into your Sega Saturn and play Sega Saturn light gun games, guys. So, yeah, you can't beat that. Boom! So, yeah, super excited about picking that one up. Uh, and then, the last thing here, but I gotta roll the intro. Sick pick of the week. This is the week's sickest pick. This pick gonna make you sick. All right, so yes, guys, this is, you got AIDS sick type of sick right here. Um, the best part of picking this up, guys, is this copy right here. And I usually don't say this about games, is in mint condition. To find this out in the wild is pretty rare. To find it in mint condition you just, it's just not going to happen. Um, Rule of Rose, Atlas title, Rather Mackenzie, and uh, yeah, so the story was on this, guys, if you didn't get it from the video, is obviously the guy had put it on a pair of shoes, he was looking through some other PC games, he decided to pick it up, that's why I went over there and asked if he was buying the shoes, because I knew if he was buying the shoes, he was buying the game. Then I went back, I retreated, and I started thinking. There was, By the way, I usually don't go up. I usually wait. But what happened was there was a kid. You can actually see him. He's wearing like camouflage in the video. He kept going back to the right side of the, this old man. And I swear to God, I thought he was going to grab the game and, and take off. And then it was going to be a matter of, um, you know, it, he wasn't getting the game. It was just laying on the shoes by coincidence. So I didn't want to take that chance. That's why I went over there. Then I backed up, went back to the spin rack. Um, then I started getting a plan together in my head. Hey, am I going to let this guy leave with this? Am I going to make an offer? So I made the $20 offer. Uh, he had, he said yes at first, and then he had a change of heart. And he said that he would give it to me for free. Um, basically the Lord giveth and, you know, uh, that whole thing. So um, I ended up telling him, no, 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 no. Let me at least pay for what you have. So he had some shoes uh, that were nine ninety nine, then uh, a CD I think it was like two ninety nine. So nine ninety nine, two ninety nine, and then this was two ninety nine. So that's what I paid for it. Um, wow, this might be my best video game pickup ever. So uh, so excited about picking this game up. Uh, Rule of Rose, controversial game. Uh, children are in the game, torturing each other. Looks really weird. Um, so I'm interested in checking it out. Although that sounds weird. Um, all right, man. So that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I guess we're ready for the... Uh... The heck is that? I'm not expecting anybody. That's kind of weird. All right, hold on a second, guys. Somebody's knocking at my front door. Wait a second, let me grab this just in case. Who is it? There's nobody out there. What the hell? Nobody's out here.
the hell is this? It's weird. Some kind of map. It's totally odd. It's got a, an X here for a spot that's been marked. You know what? I know this area. This is just a couple of blocks from my house. Yeah. All right, man. Well, let's jump in the car and check check this out and see what's over here.